Hey everybody and welcome back to Freedom to Paint with me, Ronnie Falco. I'm in Mexico on vacay but still thought I would shoot an episode. Um, today is going to be about how to do landscape watercolors at the sea or uh, beach. Alright, first of all, a little magic trick, I have my watercolor set with the integrated ring so you can wear it on your hand so if you're actually on a jet ski you can still do your watercolor pictures all right inside my watercolor kit it folds out with an integrated palette can I get a close-up on that for viewers also I have a telescoping brush so it's two parts and it breaks apart into one paintbrush for ease and portability. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm actually not gonna use the brush. I'm gonna use something like an ink pen with a brush tip. And I'm gonna catch a jet skier going by. Spend a little time with the, uh, the drawing, make it expressive. If you wanna draw from the shoulder, you can move your hand around. It expressive. I want to keep the action in the shot. All right, I'm just drawing and catching what I see really quickly here. All right, and now I'm going to start working on the arms and then the jet ski. This is actually the old school kind where you could stand up on the jet ski. Alright, and then they always have water shooting out of the back of it. Alright, so I went ahead and roughed in my drawing portion here, and then I go ahead and darken in the sunglasses. And don't forget the belly button, maybe a hint of the ribs on the jet ski here. And striping. Okay, now I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna start working in watercolor. And I have a little bit of lake water. It's good, pretty tepid. I just drew it from the, or not lake water, but sea water, a little bit salty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush wet and start coming in with some blues and greens. Use the palette out here, and don't just use the color straight out of the, uh, the tins here. You wanna mix your own blues and greens. All right, and then start getting the paper really moist. Work, oh, brush just fell apart. I'm gonna switch over actually, since it's getting kinda of windy, I'm gonna switch over to a fan brush. That way I can work across the paper a lot more water. Okay, remember not to cover up your your line drawing. So what, what we do when we draw is we create lines. When you paint, you create volume inside the lines. So the, the painted picture has volume. Alright, so I'm working around my drawing here. And the sky is about the same color as the water because it's reflecting. All right, and then we will come in with the color of the jet skiers hair. Gentlemen prefer brunettes. So we go ahead and bring in some brunette hair color and maybe a little bit of dark brown. Let those colors intermingle together. It's kind of beauty of watercolor. They start the, the colors start playing together and, and create something that you didn't even know you were going to get. All right, I'm going to work on some of the colors of the jet ski. Let's bring in some reds, some pop to it here. A bit of red there, and maybe a little bit of purple. I'm 
try and mix like a fluorescent, yellowy, lime green with a bikini. And then carefully paint that in. And I'm gonna work on the body color and then I'm about done. So I'm gonna go for a tan, tan woman jet skier here. Okay, we got kayakers coming in. Right. Almost done. Get a little bit of mouth color there, and we're done. One last thing after I get a close up, don't forget to sign your artwork. You always want to sign it. So I'm going to switch back to my brush pen. Falco. 14. That's it. Watercolor landscape. You get a close up on that? Texture of the paper. Use cold press paper. It's got a little more tooth that'll grab the watercolor. Stand up a little longer. I need a close up on my shirt too. Soho, New York. Great place to show your watercolors once you're done with them. That's our show for today. Hope you learned a little something about watercolor, landscapes, jet skis.